Hello all, welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn how to automate our Gmail account and how we can send email using the SMTP protocol. Okay, so if you log into the UiPath Studio and if you search for SMTP, you can see a package got installed in your machine that is uh, SMTP. Okay, so inside that you can see a activity that is send SMTP mail message. So using this uh, SMTP protocol and this activity, you can use uh, or you can automate your uh, mail mailing requirement to automate your uh, Gmail. Okay, so I will show you how you can do that and how you can send uh, uh, mails from your Gmail account. Okay, so before uh, uh, going to use this thing, uh, let me go to one document and even you can also refer to the same document for getting the uh, prerequisites for enabling uh, this email uh, automation okay so uh, for uh, entirely doing the automation so there can be requirements like you have to read the mails from the gmail account and uh, you have to loop through each mail and uh, maybe you will have to send the mail also okay for getting the mails uh, and uh, reading uh, each mail in your different uh, uh, folders you can use uh, either POP3 or IMAP uh, protocol and in the next video I will show you how you can use both these uh, protocols for uh, getting the mails from your email account okay but here uh, in this video uh, currently we are going to use a SMTP pro protocol which can be helpful for sending the mail from your inbox okay so that protocol you cannot use for uh, getting the mail from your uh, inbox okay so you can also go to this uh, particular link i will uh, put this in uh, the description of this uh, video okay to configure your gmail account for imap and uh, pop3 protocols in gmail and be uh, able to use your gmail account in creating automation you must follow these steps okay so how you can enable pop3 by imap from uh, gmail okay so for that uh, uh, the steps are th clearly mentioned here for that what you have to do is just log in to your uh, gmail account okay and you have to go to the settings okay so once you've done that you can see a tab called forwarding and pop bar imap is there okay so i have already logged into my account just go to settings go to uh, see all settings okay so here you can see forwarding and pop bar imap okay so in this what you have to do here you have to enable this enable pop for all email and enable imap okay so that's what i have to do so let me click on this enable pop for all email and enable imap so this is already enabled uh, so pop is enabled okay so that part is done okay so anything else is the uh no so our first part is done so first part is done and uh, save the changes okay so now the settings for uh, pop3 and imap is configured in your uh, gmail account now what is the second step so second step is generate and use a google app password that is optional okay so uh, if you're going to automate using these uh, activities okay so suppose uh, if i drag and drop this particular activity send a smtp mail message uh here um, you can see it is asking for email id and the password okay so let me type something okay so here you can see that is not a secured password and you have to hard code your uh, password in this uh, particular uh, mail activity or otherwise you can get the secure password from any of the uh, orchestrator credential manager or you can get it from a windows credential manager or you can create a secure password variable and you can store your credential over there okay but instead of uh, using your same credentials in your uh, automation or in your activities what you can do is uh, you can generate a, a password okay using your uh, uh, original uh, credential okay for that what you have to do is go to this uh, particular url okay and one requirement is this only works if you have two-step verification enabled for your email account okay then only this particular 
password generation will work okay what you please just go to this particular app okay here it will ask for the password i'm just entering my credential click on next okay uh app power let in from the app so this is very you don't have any uh, app password okay so select the uh, thing i need to automate app right mail right click on mail select the device which one i'm going to use i'm going to use windows or computer okay click on generate okay so this is the password which got generated uh, for my automations how to use it open the mail app open the settings menu select uh, account and then select your google account replace your password the system character okay click on done uh, let me uh, save it somewhere okay okay and go to your uh, activity send smtp and before that uh, let me uh, tell you what is this uh, protocol like uh, pop3 and imap and smtp okay then we can start using this uh, activity and uh, uh, create a flow for sending uh, one mail from my gmail account okay so imap versus uh, pop3 versus smtp so what is a uh, pop3 so that is a uh, protocol which can help for the incoming uh, uh, mail automations so the form of pop3 is post office protocol okay and version 3 so post office protocol uh, stands for pop uh, is a uh, mail protocol used to retrieve mail from a remote server to a local email uh, client pop3 copies the mail from the remote server into the local mail client optionally mail is deleted after it is downloaded from the server okay this saves space on the uh, server okay so pop3 is a protocol which can be used for retrieving the mails from a remote server to a local email client okay so this will help for uh, automating uh, the process for retrieving the emails from your uh, gmail uh, account okay so this is one uh, protocol which can help for the incoming uh, email automations so let me go to uh, imap and we'll see what is the difference between pop3 and imap okay so imap is again a protocol which can help to automate your incoming email uh, transactions okay so the internet message access protocol that is full form of imap okay is a mail protocol used for accessing email on a remote web server from a local client imap and pop3 are the two most commonly used internet mail protocol for retrieving emails okay so there's a main point both protocols are supported by all modern email clients and web servers okay while the pop3 protocol assume that your email is being accessed only from one application imap allows simultaneous access by multiple client okay so if you're going for pop3 you can access your email only from one application okay so that is one uh, limitation for pop3 but if you're going for imap it's it is allowing simultaneous access by a multiple client okay so hope you are clear about this pop3 and imap protocols let me go to smtp so what is smtp smtp protocol help to automate your outgoing email uh, uh, transactions okay like uh, what is smtp it stands uh, the full form of smtp is simple mail transfer protocol okay so it is a standard protocol for sending email across the internet okay suppose if there is a requirement for sending a mail from your uh, gmail to some other uh, email id you can use this smtp protocol or the smtp activity in the ui path for doing that automation okay so let's go to our automation flow and see how to create the uh, or how you can configure all the details for sending a mail from your email account 
okay so here it is asking to, for two two address subject and the body of the uh, mail and uh, in the property panel uh, uh, here you can see few of the mandatory details are there like a port is there then server details are there and uh, the email id from which you want to uh, send and uh, the password of that particular account and like that a few important details are there and here if you want to send any uh, html uh, formatted email you can use this uh, or you can enable this particular uh, uh, function okay i will show you in another video like how you can create a html based uh, emails in the body and uh, we can create a sample uh, mail okay so <clears throat> let me add my same credentials here hl dot on at gmail dot com okay so i want to send uh, email to my same email id and uh, what can be the subject this is a demo email okay and uh, what's the body so all the de details you have to put inside a double quotes okay so this email is generated as part of the smtp activity demo okay so that part is done we have provided all the details but here we have to provide few of the mandatory details okay so what are they uh, so first one is we have to give the port okay from where we can get the port for that we have this url right we have this url uh, okay so what you have to do is just go to the bottom and here you can see for more information on gmail configuration go to this link okay just click on that okay so here it is asking change smtp and other settings in your email client so just expand that here you can see what are the configuration details okay so outgoing mail smtp server we have to use this as the server details okay so let me copy this put it inside the reports so that part is done we have to use the port number right so 465 is the port number okay so that part is done then what else we have to give the email account so let me give my email account okay so here you have two options either you can hard code your uh, email id sorry uh, password or if you have generated a password uh, using uh, that password generator you can use that uh, password okay so let me copy paste that password okay so i have added all the uh, mandatory details for this uh, smtp uh, mail activity so let me try to uh, send a mail or by running the workflow click on run file okay so it has started the execution and uh, gmail execution started and uh, ended uh, in uh, three seconds so let me go to my email Mm. okay so here you can see i received a uh, new email okay this email is generated as part of the smtp activity demo okay so this is how you can use uh, your uh, um, gmail account configured to the smtp activity and you can uh, cre create uh, the send email functions in your automation flows okay so if you don't want to uh, use your own uh, credentials or uh, the password in your automation what you can do is just create a new password using the generator and use that in your workflow otherwise you can go for the secure password uh, and you can uh, save that to a secure password variable okay so hope this video is useful for you
so just try with this uh, send SMTP mail message for automating your Gmail uh, account and uh, there are some other options also uh, available in your path for automating your Gmail okay you can use the use Gmail uh, container for automating all your Gmail uh, transactions so in the coming videos I'm going to explain all these uh, um, email related automations and please follow our channel and try to watch all these series for getting a proper understanding of how you can incorporate all these email related automations in your automation workflows okay so please share the videos to your friends uh, please give your valuable comments and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the videos bye